Hello everyone and welcome to the practice video. So in this video we're going to apply what we have learned. So we're going to make our own very personal greeter. All right, so there's three acceptance criteria that we have to meet. So in order for this app to be accepted into our production environment, say if we were um, developing for a company, um, in order for this to actually go out to um, their production environment, which is the environment that the user, um, we, or the user, um, your family, your friends, whatever, would see, um, we have three things that we need to meet. So the first acceptance criteria is that it must allow the user to play as many times as they want. That means that um, if the user wants to um, after the user has gone through the entire application, if they want to restart the app and play it again without stopping the app, they are able to do that. Number two is it must greet differently depending on the age. That means that um, depending on how old they are, um, they will greet them differently. For instance, if they're under 18, they would greet them as um, a child compared to if they were under 35, uh, they would um, greet them as, or if they were under, let's say, I don't know, 70, um, but over 18, then they would greet them as an adult. If they were over 70 or 75, um, then they would greet them as a senior. So um, that is how the personal greeter must greet the user is depending on their age. Um, and then the third one is it must tell the user how many years until they are a hundred years old. So this means that the user needs to, or that the uh, the app needs to accept the user's age and um, let them know how many years old they are, and then how many years until they reach a hundred. So, um, with that said, I would encourage you to go through and do this on your own. Um, in the next video, if you didn't understand how to do it or if you had some trouble, we're actually going to go through it from scratch. So I encourage you to do this on your own. Um, maybe with a little bit of Googling, um, you'll be able to get through this. Um, however, now regardless, if you would like to see the solution, we're going to go through it step by step in the next video. So join me for that. And of course, Try this one out, practice it, and I'll see you in the next one.